Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Coffee with Carl. I am your host, Carl Zellner, one of the attorneys here with Anderson Business Advisors. Today, I want to talk a little bit about preparation. Okay, so when we start talking about taxes, liability concerns, there's a different analysis that goes into each. So sort of on the big scheme of things, you look at overall business structure in, in terms of liability, tax p- preparation, some of the stuff that uh, becomes a bit more granular and adds to the equation are, of course, estate planning and business planning. But when looking at liability and tax preparation, I, we are, I tend to view it as a couple of different things. So number one, liability protection. I want to set up an appropriate asset protection structure using, you know, LLCs, corporations, trust, layers that basically protect my personal assets from my from my business dealings and my business dealings from my personal dealings. So we can do that with the different layers that we discuss in our asset protection structures. The reason we do this is we set them up because it's not predictable <laughs> when a liability event may occur. Right, so you're preparing for the you know unpredictable. Uh, on average, we know just given the statistics, real estate investor will be sued five times during their investing career. That's not to scare anybody; uh, it is just a data point to let you know. Most cases, at some point, you will be sued. It's just the the, the sort of reality we live in at this point. <laughs> that being said, I always talk about this as well. I've met people who are investing for 40 years, never had an issue. And I've met people who are investing for 40 minutes and have been sued five or six times. So like I said, it's an average there. Uh, and just a little bit of an anecdotal, I don't know, story for th- that second. So liability, the ultimate point is we don't know when it, it is coming. So that's why we have to prepare for it. So uh, it can be anything from you know, sort of a minor disagreement in a claim to it could be if you're having it, you know, we've had several clients over the years who have, you know, hired contractors to fix something, repair something, build something on their property. And unfortunately, some unforeseen event occurred and somebody was killed. Those type of things, unfortunately, are not as uncommon as you would probably suspect um, and usually generate us the stories that we tell during our presentations as well of, you know, I wish we would have found you guys sooner because I don't want it to happen again. It's sort of the general, is the general quote there, right? It's, I wish I would have done a bit more preparation and had protected myself because I didn't. I tried to DIY it or I had a single entity, something like that. And then when the event occurred, I was wiped back to zero. And a lot of these things, and I know speaking as myself, as an investor, it takes a lot of time, effort, hard earned (laughs) money to sort of start building in the right direction to get wiped back to zero is, you know, almost unfathomable, fathomable at some point, given the type of effort most of us have put in. So liability, we need to take a look at, it's not 100% predictable. So we need to be prepared in the case that something happens. Tax planning, on the other hand, is almost 100% predictable. We know it's coming every year. We know we need to spend time planning. Now, I want you to pay special attention to that word planning, right? The preparation is actually very, very small piece of the puzzle, right? That's uh, that's for you folks who are going to dump off the box of receipts and hope you're going to get a good deduction at the end of the year. The planning is incredibly important. And we know, like I say, we know it's coming. So it's something we need to budget into our business and budget into our time annually. Now, hopefully that means you're actually meeting with a CPA or your tax professional quarterly so you can put a plan together to put yourself in the best position. Uh, Those who are doing it at sort of a grander scale, actually it's sort of an interesting apex when you see it over the, uh, the sort of overall size or volume of clients is you actually get to a point where it's almost more important to buy real estate for the deductions than it is necessarily for the immediate return. So in the beginning, everything's about, and it should still be, you should still be running your numbers and calculating and getting a good return. But those who are really sort of taking it to the next level, you'll actually see them buy property for the deductions or the depreciate or accelerating the depreciation over necessarily the return. 
or you can look at start to look at things like, oh, well, over the first couple of years, maybe I can take a little bit less as long as I'm getting those deductions up front, those items. So like I say, in tax, number one, the value is in planning. Number two is it's consistent that you know it's coming around annually. So you have the ability to prepare for what's coming up. Yes, there is sort of the unpredictable as far as, you know, uh, if there's a new, you know, President Biden is still, you know, he, as a recent example here, right, is putting together a new t- tax plan that we've been hearing about now for, you know, a year or so. Some of those things, you got to wait till they shake out to see what happens. So not 100% predictable, I guess. But for the most part, we know it's coming every year. So we need to do the planning for it. So once again, just to sort of wrap things up in a tidy little bow, liability protection, we have to be prepared for because we don't know when it's coming. Tax preparation and planning, we should be planning for and looking forward to because we know it's coming annually. So something that we should be taking uh, care of, taking a look at because we know it's coming up. So I just want to talk about that a little bit. Sometimes I know, and especially when we're teaching our one day class uh, that we give away for free is you know, there's a lot to take in. A lot of you may feel like it's sort of trying to take a sip of water out of a fire hose a lot of the time. So just from, like I said, it's sort of the 10,000 foot view. We prepare for liability because we don't know when it's coming. When we prepare for taxes, because we do know it's coming and it takes, and it allows us to be a bit more consistent with our planning. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Coffee with Carl. Thank you for, again for everybody for joining me. Um, once again, if you would do me the favor and like and subscribe and share with a friend, I'm trying to grow our channels here so we can get as much good and free content out to as many people as possible. If you are a platinum client already, that's awesome. Please keep taking advantage of that service. Uh, we're creating more and more ways that you can get a hold of the attorneys and speak to us directly. Um, almost monthly at this point. So we're trying to keep putting more ways to get in contact because we want to work on that preventative side of tax and asset protection so that we can help y'all because preventative, just like regular, you know, medical medicine, preventative medicine is always more reasonable than emergency medicine. (laughs) So until next time, thanks for joining me, everybody. Like I said, like, and subscribe, and please keep taking uh, advantage of all of our free content out there. Partners of Anderson are wildly committed to creating free content for all of you folks. Uh, So yeah, please keep taking advantage of Clint, Toby, and Michael's videos as well. And we will catch you on the next go around. So thanks to everyone. And we'll catch you on the next episode of Coffee with Carl.